Hi guys. Um, the Lord was showing me some stuff this morning in my studies, and um, it was about the train station um, upcoming attacks that I saw the Lord was revealing in the hidden messages. And um, I did the video yesterday. I didn't get to upload it until this morning, but. Uh, in my studies this morning, the Lord was revealing me some other connections that are I didn't see yesterday because I got carried away with something else that was pretty important and I didn't come back. So um, I want to bring that to you right now. So I would just take a message. Uh, take a second, guys, and I'll turn the camera around. Thanks. Okay, guys, um, I'll see if I can show you this. I'm sure you remember this first article that we had about the uh, the train station terrorist attack. The second article that we had in Denver, Colorado. And the third one that was in Hanford, Washington. Okay. If you recall yesterday, I distinctly said, or the video I uploaded this morning, I could not find any connection in between Denver and 104 which obviously represents this event happening in New York, okay? And around the World Trade Center area. Whatever they have there it means the trains, okay? I'm not going to show you again that this is train because this is a continuation of the study, so you're supposed to have looked at the other one. Um, the only connection I can find was that this meant it was a capital. It wasn't strong enough for me to validate this being the same area as this. So this led me to think that we could possibly have two different incidents, okay? One in New York, the other one in Denver, Colorado, okay? Well, praise the Lord this morning in looking at the stuff that the Lord Show, showed us differently. We need to go to the third message and backtrack it. So, in hindsight, hindsight, we could not have figured it out anyways until we had all the three messages, okay? Hanford, third, when I began to look it up, it brought me to FORD, okay? Found on Russian dump. I couldn't believe what I saw, and obviously it really excited me because it came to confirm in this message, the 100 that meant Rush, the jaw, it was a reference to Ezekiel 38, it was Russia. Put both together, I was so excited, okay? It was a confirmation from the Lord. The seven was prophetic, and it sent me on a seven search, okay? And um, this really brought us to the revelation that... This event here, okay, that I predicted about an event that's going to be happening in New York City around the World Trade Center, um, Conduit Highway, which was Median Highway. It's a different sheet, it's not this one. Remember them all? Median meant the same thing as the mall. The prediction that something was going to happen here. When we looked at carbon monoxide, this message is over two pages, that's why, but it's the same message. Meant chemical, biological, or commercial attack. Commercial right there should mean World Trade Center because we hear commerce in there. It's a hint from the Lord, but even that aside, okay? Chemical and biological attack happening at this place, which was Median Highway, it's neutral ground, it means Conduit Boulevard, and both both sides of Conduit Boulevard is the Queens area and Brooklyn, okay? So, this attack, what we can expect in this attack was what di was discovered here which was the polonium 210, okay? It's not just a coincidence. 
And I know that because the seven is prophetic. The Lord is given the message here. Okay? And if you looked at the World Trade Center and all the sevens that were involved in the flights and the attendance and everything that was involved, you will see just how prophetic that seven is. Okay? Especially relating to the World Trade Center. And now, this found on Russian dump was bringing us to the form of attack that we can expect, okay? That was the first meaning of the Ford. Now, what I didn't pursue was the fact that Ford means a shallow place of a river or a creek where one can walk through or drive across. It's a crossing. Ford doesn't mean just this. Okay? Here's the link that I didn't pursue. It means a crossing. Okay? Now, watch this. When we go to Denver, when we look at the meaning of Denver, I can't enlarge it because it's actually a picture that I took, but I can read it and I can show you. The name Denver comes from Old English Dean, meaning Dane, meaning Ford or Crossing. You see that? Ford or Crossing. It also means Green Valley, but this is not pertinent to this study. It might come back later. I don't know. But Ford or Crossing. Denver means fort or crossing, right here. Well, what is a crossing? It's a crossing over, right back here again. It was our portal. It was the portal. This was the two planes that were meant to be the conduit, because we have Conduit Boulevard, okay? that was carrying the electrical wiring it was carrying the fuel or the gas it was an attempt to create a spark to trigger off the arc both coming in at the same time to open the portal if we had any doubt this was a portal it was a place of crossing over we're seeing it here this is 104, the World Trade Center, and this is the crossing over area. So if that does that blow you away, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, thank you so much. It's confirmation about the portal. Now, I don't know what happened on September 11th. I don't know if it succeeded, or if the portal opened, or if it failed. Okay? I don't know. The Lord has not revealed that. But now we know it's the portal. It's the crossing over. The Lord is confirming it. Okay? And I think it's the first time He does. I did not even understand until this week it was the actual, it was a portal. And now He's confirming it. Colorado means Rocky Mountain. Or it's associated with Rocky Mountain. It's from that area. Rocky Mountain. Mountain, we're seeing Mount Sinai. The crossing at Mount Sinai at the World Trade Center. So this event, this car pileup, okay, in the area of the crossing over at Mount Sinai. The car pileup at the World Trade Center or New York, Mount Sinai, it's the crossing over. It's at the World Trade Center. Crossing over is the portal. It's the exact location of the portal. So, what I saw before as two incidences, because I couldn't connect this to this in a strong enough matter. The, the Denver, other than it was the capital, so it wasn't strong enough of a connection, which led me to think it was possibly two incidences. But now I can definitely say there's enough evidence to support that it's just one. 
It's talking about the World Trade Center. It's talking at the place of the crossing over at Mount Sinai. And these are all studies that the Lord needed to bring to us before He could show us this. Oh my God, thank you that I followed through. And I kept working at it. What a blessing. What a blessing. My God, thank you so much. This... I'm not discrediting that it's two evident two different two incidences because one thing the Lord has shown me every time He's teaching me something, He's all encompassing. It means all of the above. It's never just one thing, it's all of the above. So I'm not discrediting that it's two. But I am certainly hoping and keeping my fingers crossed now that there's certainly enough evidence that I can read this as an F an event at the World Trade Center, at the crossing over area at Mount Sinai. It's in New York. It now becomes the exact identical um, event as this one. Okay? And it doesn't... Anford. Obviously we have our Ford right there. Okay? In this message we didn't have a train station. This became the link. So it was a jam up, a block up. To me, it's talking about rush hour again. Where? At the train station. This was the link because we didn't have train station revealed in this message. The Lord needed to put it somewhere. This is the connection. Where in Washington? Well, look at what I found when I looked up Washington. Mecca, Ford Crossing. Settlement and homestead. Okay. I obviously need to show you that. Okay. What is Washington? The capital of the United States in the District of Columbia in the and a tourist Mecca. There you go. Mecca. What is Mecca? This is Mecca, guys. This is about the Kaaba. This is all about idol worshipping. Now I'll show you something that will just blow your mind. Again, how the Lord does this, I don't know. Okay? If you recall this study, Galatians 4, Hagar, this was our 28 again. Okay? Showing us median and all that stuff. It was the basis for all this study. When we were reading Galatians 4, these are two women, they are two covenants. One was born according to the flesh. These are children who are slaves. She is Mount Sinai in Arabia, present day Jerusalem. Mount Sinai in Arabia. Saudi Arabia. Mecca is in Saudi Arabia. What does that have to do with Washington? We have just discovered who spiritual Jerusalem, who spiritual Washington is. Mecca. If you have any doubt whatsoever about idol worshiping now in New York, and I just want to point out something to you guys in all these studies that we have gone, there's not one time has the Lord shown this to be Babylon. America to be Babylon. Okay? If it comes up, I'll definitely show it to you, but it hasn't been there yet. So, yeah, Washington. Now I'll go back to Washington. Another definition of Washington. The place name itself is derived from the Old English personal name Wassa combined with the, the suffix THN meaning settlement or homestead. Okay, settlement or homestead. We will probably have that come in while I'm actually studying stuff that's involving this and I'll bring it to you if it's the, the will of the Lord that I do so. Another possible um, Derivation comes from West, 
meaning a wash, a creek setting in from the sea, the shallow part of a river. Oh my God, the shallow part of a river. There we go again, it's our crossing right here. It's the shallow part of the river. It's the crossing. See Ford? A place in the river where one can cross over, walk over, drive across a crossing. It's the shallow part where one can walk across. The shallow part of a river. It's the crossing all over again. So Washington is representing the crossing all over again. It's all about New York. Where? Continue with the shallow part of a river, an ING, meaning a meadow or a low ground. Low ground. How low can you go if you have zero ground or ground zero? Medium. Ground zero. Number 28. Number 28 is ground zero medium. Remember this? So, medium. It was all about neutral ground, which was ground zero. This is the whole study that we have done. Low ground. So, the shallow part of the river, the crossing, located where? Ground zero. So, Washington. is representing the crossing at ground zero. So this train event at rush hour, at rush hour, at the crossing at ground zero. Is this the third event? Is it the fourth event? It could be, but Lord, I'm praying not because we certainly have enough evidence now to substantiate that this is again the same incident as these two. Praise the Lord Almighty for revealing. I am so happy that He has shown this to us. I'm so glad you're here to listen to it and to watch it. <laughs> Thanks guys. I hereby proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23, 2015. We get baptized, receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about it in Acts 38.